grassroots content creators added to the program just recently how to apply yourself into this program as well who got into the program and the channel moving forward as well stay tuned throughout the video to understand the details how's it going everybody it's kevin here once again giving you another news update in halo like i said earlier we have the expansion to the grassroots program if you guys do not know what that means it's basically a like i said it's a grassroots program to expand the halo community at large for everyone involved with the the you know the, everyone involved with anything external to the game itself as in youtube twitch event creations things like that if you guys like these news information videos please make sure to tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below what you thought about the people who are added into the grassroots program or what your thoughts are on the video as well as i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well and if you're new to the channel want to stay up to date with anything halo related as an mcc updates or halo infinite news make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub boxes be kind of weird at times so let's get right into the video here so as we all remember, the Grassroots program was announced back in November during the Atlanta event for Halo 5, which I think was just a fantastic idea by 343 to kind of get the community involved with their game. As we all know, we had Nated, Ubernick, Vetoed, and Action Man added into this initial grouping right here. Now this is probably going to maintain as a rather selective group of people and slowly expanded over time to make sure that they put in the right people because this is this is a commitment that 343 is doing for the the, the community for the, at large and so that they want to make sure they have the right people in. 343 states that they had over 500 applications for this first go around that they had to review which is kind of crazy to think about that many people wanting to get involved with the grassroots program people say if you ever see a video saying halo is dead that is just a flat out wrong video just trying to get views because 500 people just by alone who are content creators want to get involved with the grassroots program is pretty substantial and then that's really great to see that many people are excited about halo and this grassroots program is really just to kind of give a back to the community a little bit and help grow this community and kind of give a central hub or you know a kind of place where all these content creators streamers and event coordinators can uh, get some help or some support from 343 and kind of a hand in hand kind of relationship with the game and their content creators and everything in between so it's a fantastic program i even applied for this as well so as of right now, though, the grassroots program is not accepting applicants, but they will be accepting more soon, as in beginning of March 1st to March 31st is when they'll be accepting new applicants. And so we that's your window to get a chance to hopefully sign in. I think that's a better move to have these windows of application. They said they'll have a, a few of these uh, month-long windows at certain points throughout the year. So I'm guessing probably maybe two or three more of these windows after the March event at, or window as well. So you know, as keeping the people who are really want to get involved with this program to you know be on top of the ball and if they really want it they'll go for it now i did apply as well i think it's pretty much the second or third day this program was announced i was able to apply into the program and sadly enough ya boy didn't make it understandable though i wasn't really expecting to get into it i wasn't quite sure exactly how much 343 was looking to expand the grassroots program for each new wave that they're gonna, of people that are going to be adding in though i would expect that i wasn't expecting to get in just because i don't feel like my community involvement or my community reach isn't that strong right now but we are growing guys like by a lot like back in december we hit 5,000 subscribers and just so far almost by the end of this month you may even hit five and a half thousand subscribers by the end of this month which would be pretty crazy it's definitely the most consistent best growth i've ever had on the channel so i have to thank is you guys and you guys turn in, tune into the videos and just enjoying and you know basing off what my feedback and what you guys like to watch you know i keep trying to deliver you know and that's what we're going to be doing even though i didn't make the program I'm definitely not going to be slowing down on this video grind. Still going to be trying to give you guys three videos a week at best. You know, just because I want to... I'm passionate about Halo. I love talking about it. I love being able to give you guys information and, you know, news or just entertainment as a whole. So anyways, guys, before I, so before I start keep rambling any further, let's get right into who got into this new wave of content creators added to the grassroots program so we'll go down the list here first person added was proximity as you probably could assume he's one of the larger halo youtube guys and twitch streamers as well he's actually verified on twitch as well and you know the guy is a solid content creator the guy does great streams 
solid videos. And, you know, I definitely do, do enjoy watching him because he, when you're watching him play, you take something away from it. You learn something. You see his thought process and just like how he plays the game. It's just such a higher level than I can accomplish. And so that's that's why I only show you guys clips. <laughs> but this guy can do it on the regular. And he's one of the, you know, great, uh, best players right now on the Halo YouTube scene. So definitely worth checking him out. Um, next person I added in, which I was actually kind of surprised, but I'm really glad he added in, was Stress. If you guys don't know who Stress is, he's also a Twitch and YouTube guy as well. This guy is a beast at Halo. I mean, like, champion, like, you know, top 50 quality player right now. He is on that grind right now. I think he's releasing, like, at least one video a day, two videos a day right now. You know, uh, from his Twitch streams that he does, you know, daily, I think twice a day even. Like, this guy is on his grind. And he's a great streamer too. He's not like one of those like competitive streamers who just focuses only on the stream and doesn't read chat at all. Like he's really good at the game. So his gameplay is fun to watch and he actually interacts with chat and he's just a really good guy. And I just can't praise him enough. Stress, give him a follow. Again, like I said, all the people I'm gonna be mentioning here with links to their uh, social media. It's gonna be in the description down below. So definitely wanna go check them out guys. Give him a subscribe, give him a follow. You know, the person I had to the list here was Eli X. If you guys don't know Eli X, he is a Twitch streamer as well. Focuses mainly on the MCC side of things when it comes to Halo, but again, he's very much about, very dedicated to Halo. He does mix in a few other games, but like it's it's Halo for him, man. And he's a solid player as well. You know, get some pretty nice clips. I think he occasionally releases like a montage. And, uh, you know, he's a good guy as well. A very entertaining uh, chat he's in with his uh, live streams. Like, it's very good, great community he's built all around his channel. Again, very worth checking out. And this one actually caught me off guard, though when I thought about it, it doesn't surprise me at all because it's great content and involved with a great community as well. HCS Weekly. If you don't know, they are a weekly show, podcast, if you want to call it, something like that where they uh, have Shyway, who is another Halo YouTube creator here, does a lot of uh, uh, competitive analysis videos, hosts this weekly show where he brings on guests from the community and they just talk Halo, basically. And so everyone involved with HCS Weekly, who is actually underneath the UGC Studios uh, name, which if you guys don't remember uh, from January, the uh, Halo 3 tournament was a UGC event. So strictly about them. So totally makes sense that a UGC group would be involved with this next uh, wave of additions to the grassroots program. So congratulations, you guys at HS Weekly. I watch you guys every week. Super great interviews a lot, listening on, and also if I can get involved with the chat as well. Definitely want to go check them out. I may also have a bit of a soft spot for HS Weekly because they did give me a pretty solid shout out. Literally one says, uh, I have a question for Nick. Uh, under or which underappreciated Halo YouTuber or YouTuber in general uh, do you like to recommend? Kevin Cool X. He does a fantastic job. Yes. I think Kevin does a really, really good job. He's very dedicated. He uh, is always on top of any new update or any little bit of information. Totally agree on the Kevin shout out. He's such a great member of the community. Again, guys, like I said, links to everyone have, uh, that I was just mentioned. All their social media is going to be in the description down below. Definitely give them a follow, give them a subscribe. You know, just keep up with our content because this, this is great stuff that they're putting out. So yeah, sadly guys, we didn't make it. But again, like I said, I don't think my community reach is quite there to the point where uh, I'm, I'm starting to get noticed, but I'm not a noticeable person right now in the community. And so it totally makes sense. I applied, I didn't get it. But my main thing is that I will really hope that if I get an email back from 343 telling me what I could do better for you guys, how I can improve my content and uh, move this channel forward because uh, I would hate to just say like, oh, sorry, you didn't get in, shucks. I would love to see like why I didn't get in or, you know, where they thought I was lacking or where I could improve because I always want to try to give, put my best foot forward for you guys. And so if I get some kind of like legit feedback from 343 about that, uh, you know, I would love to see it personally. That's just me. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the video here. If you guys enjoyed this news information video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let us know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you thought about the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. And if you guys are new to the channel or miss any content from me, make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.